today's headline. A woman known to have lived in a cave for years has finally discovered the real world outside the dark stones. An exclusive interview after the woman of her experience and the first steps of seeing the true light was made by our news representative. This is the said interview. A woman that first came out of a cave after many years was interviewed by netizens, believing that it was the first time the woman saw real life and as she finds everything around her disoriented. The outside world is different from the world that is inside the cave. And right now, I am still learning and adjusting to the new things that I see. And all I can say is that you can't see the real world if you stay in the shadows of your cave. Seeing that life forms were different from shadows, the woman still adjusts to her environment as of the moment. 1.618 RS serving your real news. Experts confirm they've recovered a masterpiece stolen nearly a quarter century ago. Adele Rose joins us from Washington with the latest on that. Adele, good morning. Good morning, Arvin. This was a remarkable discovery straight out of an art heist movie more than 20 years ago after Escher's famous artwork, Day and Night, was reportedly stolen. A gardener has found it hidden behind the walls of the very museum it was stolen from, and experts say it is the real deal. This morning, prosecutors revealed that one of the art world's most intriguing mysteries sold. Escher's famous artwork Day and Night worth $2 million finally found. The artwork was stolen from the National Art Museum in Washington, D.C. more than 20 years ago and it was discovered here. A gardener while cleaning noticed a small panel door last September. Behind it lay the masterpiece hidden in a plastic bag in the external wall of the very same gallery it was stolen from. A wood cut in black and gray printed from two blocks measuring 39.2 cm long and 67.6 cm wide. It was one of Escher's first prints to show the tessellated tile approach covering a plane using geometric shapes with no overlaps and no gaps. The white flock of birds flying above the ground merged with the daylight sky. On the left and to the right, the block flock blends to create the night sky. After carrying out extensive non-invasive tests and using high-tech x-rays, art experts confirm its authenticity. The artwork now is placed safe back in its original place. Arvin? New talent show Masinik Samishika Sayawan gains more than 10 million viewers in its fifth day of airing. Here's Jam for more details. Last October 10, 2020, the newest unique talent show of ABC, Math, Linux, and Musica at Sayawan has just started airing. With its first day, it already gained more than 2 million viewers and gradually growing in number. And in its fifth day, they garnered more than 10 million viewers. Netizens were really delighted by the idea of the talent show since it has application in mathematics. Some just couldn't hide their excitements for the next episodes. But some criticized the show for having a complicated concept. Why not just make it simple dancing and playing of instruments or simple singing? Commented one of the netizen. The sad show is hosted by the actress dancer Kath D, together with the judges mathematician singer songwriter Hanin G H and mathematician dance enthusiast Chilane. You can watch the show every weekend, seven in the evening. This is Jam reporting. Para sa nagbabagang issue, Rafi Turco in action. At ngayon, saksihan naman natin ang isang reklamo kay Sir Rafi na di umano ay isinugod siya ng legal na asawa ng kanyang kasintahan. Makakausap natin si na Miss Arlene ang legal wife, si Miss Jane ang third party at si Miss Ten. Inireklamo ni Miss Jane ang panunugod at pananakit ng legal wife na kanyang officer noong ika-30 ng Setyembre. Totoo nga bang si Kabit ay sinugod ni Legend? Saksihan po natin, Sir Rafi. 
Ngayon po mga kaidel ay mapapanayan natin si Miss Jane na nagreklamo sa legal wife ni Mr. Sir Rafi, bigla-bigla na lang po siyang sumulong habang natatrabaho ko at sinabunutan ako. Bakit mo naman ginawa yun, Mama Arlene? Sir Rafi, sinugod ko po siya dahil na-decipher ko na po ang pinag-usapan nila ng aking asawa. Medyo natagalan nga po akong tuklasin ko anong nakatago sa convo nila kasi nakakriptography po yung pagkasulat nila. Ah, ganun po ba ma'am? Sa ating viewers na hindi nakakalam ano, ang cryptography ay isang paraan ng pagtatago ng mensahe upang hindi direct sa makuha ang kabuluwang ibig sabihin nito. Nakong, bista na naman pala si Mr. Mr., may tanong ko lang. Ano bang nagustuhan ninyo kay Miss Jane na wala sa inyong asawa? Uh, Siyempre po ang kanyang mukha at katawan na may sobrang ganda at uh, pasok po ito sa golden ratio ko. Sa mga hindi nakakalam, ang golden ratio naman ay proporsyon ng dalawang sukat ng bagay na tinaguri ang golden dahil sa angking pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga bilang at sukat sa pagitan nila na tumbas sa 1.618. So ma'am, willing po ba kayong malutas ang programming ito? Willing naman po ako Sir Rafi basta wala ng ganong palitan ng mensahe muli at huwag na nila akong gagawin. Kung akala nila hindi ko madi-recipher mga ganong bagay, nagkakamali sila doon. At mga kaginto, maaari niyong matanaw ang buong pagsasaayos ni Miss Arlene at Miss Jane sa YouTube channel ng Rafi Tulfo in Action. Maraming salamat mga ka-idol. Balik sa iyo! Konting kaalaman, alam niyo ba na ikadalawang put-tatlo ng Nobyembre ay pinagdiriwang ang Fibonacci Day. Ang dahilan, kung pagsamahin natin ang katumbas na numero ng Nobyembre na 11 at ang pechang 23, makukuha natin ang unang apat na numero sa Fibonacci Sequence. Ang Fibonacci Sequence ay isang pagkasunod-sunod ng mga numero kung saan ang bawat bilang ay katumbas ng kabuuan ng dalawang naunang numero. Ito ay pinangalan sa, sa nagpakilala nito noong ikalabing dalawang siglo na isang Italyanong matematiko na si Leonardo Fibonacci. Ito po si Kuya Kim nagsasabing mag-aral ng maigi upang buhay ay bumuti. And now, for showbiz segment, we have Boy Gibunda together with his guests. Thank you, Kirill. Today is another day full of facts and loves, and we'll be interviewing someone from Group 2. There she is. Good evening, Dian. Good evening, Kuya Boy. Okay, I'll go straight to the point. This is fast talk, and you should answer me with true or false. Got it. True or false? Angela is 6 feet tall, and she loves playing sports. Since one statement is already false, then the entire statement is false. When two propositions are separated by the word and, this is called conjunction. We can see from the photo the following truth values of a conjunction. She's only five feet. If Nadine is a freshman of BSA, then she has a gag one of her class. True. A conditional is a logical compound statement in which statement P called antecedent implies a statement Q called consequent. The following are the truth values of a conditional. Is it true that the negation of some students from GEC 104 does not know how to use the cipher wheel? Is all students from GEC 104 knows how to use the cipher wheel? True. The following are formulas on how to negate quantifiers. Hanin lives in Elegant City if and only if Karil lives in Bukidnon. False. Kareel lives in Elegant City. La A composite statement of the form P if and only if Q is called a biconditional statement. We can see how the statements are equal to a truth value of false. Last question. This is quite tricky so you should answer with valid or invalid. Mm -hmm. Is the argument valid if a conditional and its consequent are given as premises and the antecedent is the conclusion? Invalid. <laughs> This is known as the fallacy of converse. As one of the truth values is false, it is therefore invalid. Thank you, Dian. That's it for our fast talk tonight. Back to you, Kirill. Thank you.
Boy Gibuda. That's it for news for today. This is Carilvia Capulliano. And this is R.B. Gerard Alfete. It's a double to pag-class na katotohanan at pagpapakalat ng information. This is News for Modern